It's just so, it's so soothing and so wonderful. And I'm just so excited to be here today. You, it keeps rolling. So I'm just hoping I can see you at some point. Um, you I can't may, see me. No, but I'm going to try to, I'm very, I'm not that technical inclined. So I'm going to, I'm going to try to, oh wait, that just, yeah, I'm so sorry. Let's see. I can actually see you perfectly. Okay. I really want to see yeah. you. It's it's okay. You're beautiful. We know you. Just speak. It's the voice that matters. It's the responses that matter. I love you. Thank you so much. For I, today. I love you. Your your voice is 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 amazing. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> I want to let your I, all of our guests know that I actually have a special guest with us today because I'm I'm actually in the car. Um, okay. It's Halo, my dog. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I have a question because you have him there. Uh, how many times did you wipe him before he got into your car? Well, I'm pretty obsessed with how clean this dog is. She gets a bath once a week. And I know she's, you, you've already got me figured out. You've already got me figured out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I did tell uh, Jeff uh, the other day that you must brace yourself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be scared, but, you know, I did dig in a bit, a little information about you. It's okay. I, I'm transparent, and I honestly, if if I can help one person, um, yeah. then it's worth it. Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. That's one thing that I've realized about you and love about you. <laughs> Yeah. that you 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 you're, you are so spirit filled it's 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 amazing even when you smile it's like you know grasp it take it yeah i'm taking it yeah oh you me cry <laughs> <laughs> i literally called my yeah i literally called my partner right and i said i'm shivering i'm oh. scared <laughs> oh what are you scared about we don't have a spirit of fear. We have a sound mind and God is good and he's faithful and there are no accidents and he connects everybody in this divine tapestry. Right. And true, so true. we are all uh, his children and we are yeah, sisters yeah. in his, in Christ and in him. And, and, um, and I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I just it's not even your face. I wish I could see your face. I don't know what you it's can't. Doing. Not sure. Um, I'm not sure how to see you. I really want to see you. 
can you guys see me? Can can people are watching? Can you guys see me? Because Curry says she can't see me. So yeah. It will, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not sure. Um, I I have full bars. That's so. Maybe I'm not pushing Wait. a button, the right button. Is there something I should be connecting? You know, it's it's not. It's South Africa, you know, a lot of things happen here. We have load shedding, we have mm -hmm. internet problems. Blame okay. it on, uh, blame it on telecom. Yeah. Okay. The fact that you can't see me, blame it on telecom. Okay, people can see us perfectly. You you can't see me. Uh, okay. It's okay, I'll save this. You can go and, you know, watch me be beautiful with you. Be beautiful <laughs> as well. That's <laughs> Why are you in your car? Oh, I, you know, it's so funny because my best friend says you're always on the go, boo. And I'm, I'm constantly on the go. So I had a full day yeah. of meetings and things. And so I pulled over to, to do this show with you because I, Jeff spoke so highly of you. And then when I looked you up, I was like, oh, she's an angel. And um, so, I, you know, who wouldn't want to talk to an angel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he speaks highly of you. Uh, before he actually he actually said, you should talk to Corey. I literally had made up my mind that I would talk to you before he actually, actually uh, suggested it. I was like, I'm going to uh, contact her. If she doesn't contact me back, I'll keep forcing because, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm terrible on social media. I'm really, that's like my <laughs> resolution is to get a little bit better. So I'm, yeah. I apologize. But then when he sent me a direct... Uh, message i was like oh yes i have to i really want to connect so thank you for for having me and for promoting me and i'm excited to dive into uh your questions Unfiltered. we we started we started the minute you got here okay <laughs> it's it's unfiltered and uncensored right so the minute you walk in uh that's it yes <laughs> it's on <laughs> it's, kind of, it's on funny is it's it's kind of pretty much my life um, my, yeah. mom, my mom used to say to me, you know, Corey, some things are better left unsaid. And yeah, um, you unfortunately, know. you didn't listen. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know. <laughs> I, I was thinking earlier, right, with with your your life, you're such a busy person that you actually agreed to come here. It, it, I, I want to thank you for that, for taking the time to come here and talk to me. Uh, I don't really have much to say. You know, I look at you and I just want to continue looking at you. I could keep quiet and look at you the whole night. However, people want to hear you speak. <laughs> uh, yeah. You're so sweet. Uh, Love you. you there's this, there's, there's this uh, quote that you keep going back to. You can, If you can dream it, you can achieve it, right? By Walt Disney. Yes. What was yes. your ultimate dream? Oh, that's such a great question. Um, you know, my ultimate mm -hmm. dream, I think my whole life yeah. was just to be able to help others and serve others in a way that um, was not was beyond even my my, you know, capability. I, I lived with my Nana, my mom's mom when mm -hmm. I was young, and mm -hmm. um, lived with us actually. And she used to get up very early in the morning and she would pray and I would get up with her and I'd go sit next to her. And she would say every single time she would say, you know, we're, we're here on this earth to serve others. And so, mm -hmm. you know, that's really what all of us want to do really in one way or, or another. And, and so being able to reach out to, you know, millions of people and, and maybe have some kind of a small impact is really yeah, yeah. But if I could have my dream job, yeah, everybody knows I love karaoke. Um, I, would, <laughs> I would, I would love to have a worship band and travel the world and sing worship music. Aww. That's You're definitely coming to South Africa, right? I mean, I would love to come to world. South Africa. I would love to. Yeah. I actually have a friend from South Africa, Alan, and he. Um, the last time we had connected, he had, he was really promoting a, a movie called mm -hmm. uh, I can't remember what it was called. It was a uh, about Robert Mugabe. Really? Yes, yes. Um, so oh, okay. you know, I'll I, definitely I, check I, that out. 
yeah, I'm very f- fond of South African peoples, and I would love to come visit. And it's 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 very good that you are fond of South African people because last time I checked you, you were still looking for your king. Perhaps your king is in South Africa. Yes, yes. <laughs> if, if, yes, yes. I never know. I mean, honestly, <laughs> I I feel like I'm I'm now. I mean, I was I'm, I was never. I, I know not to look. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. I. Yeah. I've laid it down at God's altar and I I want who he wants for me because I've made my own choices and (laughs) he was faithful enough to say, um, those are, that wasn't my choice. And I feel like if, if someone's out there and they're really struggling right now and they're having a heartbreak of any kind, remember Mm. God's rejection is God's protection. That is so beautiful. It is so true. And even in the mm-hmm. moment you're crushed and you're in the fetal position and your heart hurts and you're, you don't understand why you love someone so much, mm-hmm. God knows what is good for you. And he knows that in the end, he will work all things together for his glory. And he will, he'll, he will mend your heart. And he'll also mm-hmm. reveal to you that it was his, he was just him protecting you. So I know it's painful and I know that um, I know the feeling of it very well, but when you mm-hmm. come to it and you, you really look up and you say, thank you, God. Cause I didn't see yeah. that. I didn't see yeah. that. He's faithful. So, mm-hmm. you know, he's my King. He's my sole yeah. provider, but if he has someone for me, I'm grateful. Cause I'm, I have a lot of love to give. Yeah, there's probably a Zonga gent right here, just, you know, waiting to receive love, you know, yeah, somewhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah as soon as you come to, yeah. I have a daughter and she's the love of my life. And so, you know, I yeah. know, yeah, I know that unconditional, just incredible love that is, mm-hmm. it is beyond uh, yeah. anything. You know, every every time you talk about your daughter, you you get so emotional. You know, I, it's it's beautiful. Uh, you make me want to have more. Oh, uh, aren't they wonderful? Yeah. They, sometimes, they? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate yeah. telling people this with other with kids because I haven't had one bad day with my daughter. I'm just like, she's so, yeah. you know. But I only have <laughs> one too, so I know it's difficult when you have two or three and they're all you know yeah it gets a little you know dramatic for for a lack of a better sentence or a lack of a better word you you said you faced a whole lot of fires in your life uh what fires did you face oh you know many there's many fires that that they they constantly come along you know i i always say to people the devil, the enemy, uh, is mm-hmm. a liar and he comes to rob, steal and destroy. Right. And so mm-hmm. he doesn't want us to be the salt and light of the earth. Um, but I think just so a lot of my fires, I mean, my parents were divorced at a very young age. Um, mm-hmm. and so that was tough, you know, I was four mm-hmm. And then I ended up, you know, I I never wanted to get divorced. I wanted to get married and last forever or until one Mm. of us passed, right? Till death do us part. And that's Mm. not what my, my daughter's father left. And, um, and that was tough. That was really, really Mm. tough levels. Um, and it's not something you ever really recover from. I think if I'm Mm -hmm. honest, but it, it's something that you can get through and you can work on yourself and, um, and hopefully, you know, help others through that same yeah, fire. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. there's been you know, fires in the industry that I'm in and there's, there's always, yeah. there's always going to be a fire somewhere. Look at Halo's like, wait, yeah. you're fire. Uh, <laughs> but it's, I, it's, it's, it's Sorry. funny because most people who who have OCD, right, don't do not have pets, but you do. 
you you tolerate a whole lot of things you even tolerate pain it's and i have a question about that do, do you only tolerate uh, physical pain or mental pain as well or emotional pain as well yeah, it's a Girl. good that's a great question um you you know when i was pregnant i I didn't want to go to the hospital. So I had a midwife because I literally yeah. didn't want to get an IV. I was so afraid of the pain of IV. <laughs> it was like, that's so silly. But you know, yeah. what ended up happening is I, I started having her at home and then a series of events took place and, and all kinds of stuff happened. And so I actually had to go to the hospital yeah. and yeah. <laughs> I was in labor for 48 hours and no medication. Wow no epidural. Wow. And at the end of it all, I remember thinking, wow, like <laughs> I didn't want to hospital because of an IV, but I ended up during the most painful child birth. Well, not the most, but <laughs> feel a little bit of it. And then after yeah. literally was like, oh, I could climb Mount Everest and like on its coldest <laughs> day, I'll make it. Like I can do it. Yeah. Child um, birth is the peak, right? Yes. <laughs> and you think you can't endure something until you do. And, yeah, and yeah. it was literally by the grace of God and his warring angels that pulled us all through. And mm -hmm. I wouldn't change that experience, um, you know, for anything. Uh, everybody goes through pain. You know, I think the best pain uh, reliever is yeah. the Holy Spirit. That's my personal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, I really can't explain it. I've, I've, I've turned to the Holy Spirit on every occasion. Mm -hmm. but, you know, I'm it's, great. It's, it's amazing because you also uh, acted on, on God's Not Dead. I've watched it about a million times. I remember it was played the other day. And when I had to research about you and I'm like, wait, hold on. Hey, gal, I know you. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't know me, but <laughs> I know you. <laughs> How was that like acting in a movie about uh, uh, God? You know, it was such a great story because I had taken so many years off and yeah. I was really like, God, you know, I've told this story before, but if anyone's listening, I had a friend tell me that I was never going to be a leading lady again because I was too old. Wow. And wow. so I said to God, I was like, I don't, you know, that's painful. I didn't, you mm -hmm. know, really mm -hmm. agree, with it, but uh, God had a different plan. And I always say, you know, he, he watched when someone speaks something like that over your life, because he'll show up and show off in ways that you have no idea. And so yeah, three days and, after yeah. that, I got this part. And but before the it three was... days, <laughs> before the three days, you, you literally waited, was it 12 months? Uh, the first six months? Your, your daughter was saying yeah. the same thing over and over again. The second six months, your daughter was saying the same thing over and over again. I want to know how you felt when uh, your daughter spoke to God about you. She would go to bed every night. And I, I actually went to her and I said, listen, you're getting older. And I, I took a lot of time off to be with her. And I said, I'd like to go back to acting. And so mm. she said, okay, mommy, well, let's pray about it. And so every night she'd go to bed and she'd say, um, God, please give my mommy her own show. And that was for about six months. And then, yes, you're right. You, boy, you did your own. Uh, she, it, eventually her prayer changed from please give my mommy her own show to yeah. uh, literally. And it was her. I didn't tell her. She said, thank you in advance for my mommy's wow. new show. Yeah. And I got the show Beverly Hills Pond, which was 66 episodes. And then, you know, I got bonus. I got yeah. a couple, I got Book of Esther and, and God's mm -hmm. Not Dead. And so I believe, and this is just me. I, I just mm -hmm. believe so much in the power of prayer. And when you listen yeah. to the child go to bed at night and say those prayers and, and then they become this reality. It's mm -hmm. an incredible 
blessing and, and miracle in and of itself. So yeah, that, that, thank you for bringing that up. That's so sweet. And it's, it's such a good yeah. testament Moni, to just really, it says in the Bible, ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, mm -hmm. knock and the door will be open. And, you know, as a parent, as we're mm -hmm. parents, we want to give our children mm -hmm. the things they are, the desires of their hearts. We really do. Mm -hmm. And so, so does our Heavenly Father. He wants to bless us. He wants to hear mm -hmm. our desires. Mm -hmm. And it says, delight yourself in the Lord and he'll give you the desires of your heart. And so, you know, I had been delighting myself in him and I, I mm -hmm. just, he really did give, give me those parts and, and so many mm -hmm. divine appointments um, came along with them. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, you 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 cried in the kitchen, right? You had a one on one with God. You you literally you were, I believe, you were frustrated. I mean, everyone gets frustrated at their father. You know, sometimes you you talk back sometimes, but not too much. Uh, you asked him to to take away the desires, right? I said if. I, I was, I was really frustrated because I had been praying and I had, I just said, you know, if you don't want me to do mm -hmm. this, do acting, then take the desire mm -hmm. from, this is a desire that I've had for, since I was mm -hmm. a little girl. And if you don't want me to do it, take it away from me and just give me something else. I don't care what it is. I don't care. Yeah. I'm up first. I'll do whatever. I will do whatever. I just want the desire. And mm -hmm. so he didn't take it from me and no he actually God, <laughs> it was like you remember when abraham yeah put his son up there and said okay lord you know i'm I yeah. just put up there and i was like okay you know i wouldn't put my child because i was not that brave but <laughs> that was not yeah. for my career uh, <laughs> yeah what do you desire now you know that's a great question i i my desires you know, a bit They've changed a bit. What? My desires have changed a bit now. I've, 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 I would, I love acting and it's great. I'm actually mm -hmm. going to shoot two new movies. Um, nice. You're going to tell us about that, right? I will tell you about that. Um, Definitely. But I, like I said, I think my desire, if I could fulfill the rest of my life, um, mm. uh, worshiping, having a worship band and singing, that would be, that would be yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Like that, I've reached my pinnacle, right? Um, yeah, yeah. I'll continue. I, to I can't sing. I, I can't, but I can write. You know, I can help with the lyrics, but okay. singing is a different story. Well, I <laughs> I bet you. <laughs> yeah, please. I, I once sang for my, my partner, right? And he said, Lingi, well, are you singing or are you talking? I kept quiet and slept. You know, I watched a little bit about you. I, I was looking and you're, you have such an a, incredible story. You know, you, I mean, just the fact that you're a certified investigator, that's just interesting in and of itself. Uh, I, <laughs> my mom always said you should have been a detective, Corey, because I would find stuff out and I'd be like, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Present. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, you try, you know, desires. I feel like for me, desires come, you know, every month. I desire something new every month, and then I follow that path. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to know what, what's your deal with the men row, uh, men low and men row lights? Why do you like them? What's, what's, what, what about them do you like so much? I'm so sorry. Say, what about what? The... Men low, men row. Is it lights or lighters? Men. Oh, the Marilyn Monroe lighters. You're so wonderful. Yes, okay. Um, you know, there's no month of pronunciation, hey. <laughs> it's so I'll get away with it. It's so beautiful. Um, well, we I, on the show, Beverly Hills Pond, we had a lot of memorabilia, Hollywood memorabilia that would come on the show. And so yeah. some of my favorite things, um, It's that was one of them, well, two of them, Marilyn Monroe and Joe DiMaggio got yeah. married in a civil ceremony in San Francisco. And although mm -hmm. their marriage only lasted nine months, they mm -hmm. very much loved each other. And he ended up sending flowers to her grave when she passed for 20 years. And wow. so at mm -hmm. their ceremony, they had these little like gold and silver lighters. And they yeah. had 
they were one of very few items that had both of their signatures on them. And mm -hmm. they were, they, but I found it interesting that they passed out lighters at their, their wedding. Cause that was back in the day when everyone would smoke, you know, and see yeah. that <laughs> they were just these little tattered lighters. And I just was so no. taken story of, their love you know yeah, yeah. I, I know your your love for love yeah uh, yeah yeah you know love will find you if you're not looking apparently i wouldn't know <laughs> <laughs> i looked so yeah like it was by by fire by force <laughs> yeah right Right. Yeah. Uh, how has the, the industry humbled you? Because you did mention that the industry has humbled you. How has it humbled you? You know, I was teased a lot as a kid. I got all mm -hmm. kinds. Of and mm -hmm. y your identity isn't in the way that you look or mm -hmm. or don't look. Your mm -hmm. ide my identity is in God. And so it's an internal identity. But when you're younger, it's hard to understand that, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's mm -hmm. in the sense that it, what does it say? It says beauty is fleeting. Um, mm -hmm. A charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. And so I praise you. it's, it's yeah. not. Yeah. But, and it's like, you know, there's, hum, there's a lot of things that have humbled me, but mm -hmm. I'm, I am just another uh, vessel on this planet to try to, mm -hmm. to guide others and help others. And, and they've helped me and continue to guide and me. And so, mm -hmm. you know, I, we're all in this together and it's why I started my podcast. Cause I wanted to, yeah. I really wanted to bring people together. You know, yeah. the world has the spirit of division over it largely mm -hmm. right now. And mm -hmm. we can't continue this way. We have to come together and love one another mm -hmm. and true, true. be present. So this is the part. So this is uh, the Coral. Yay, yay, yay. Please help me pronounce that. Corolli is correct. Hey, <laughs> gal. Yay. Uh, in the windows a little bit it's called the coriolis effect i i got it it's just that you know i didn't get it right but i got it almost yeah almost counts <laughs> no it's hard to say it's kind of like a tongue twister you know it is <laughs> it is so the coriolis effect effect right yes. um it's unfiltered and uncensored it is and it's just really about a bunch of it, it uh, it's an eclectic group of people from all yeah, walks yeah. and and just their stories and you yeah. know testimonies <laughs> and it's it's been a real fun journey just bringing people yeah. so in all the years uh, you've been in the industry right starting from when you used to do you used to do j-lo's makeup wow girl and you also used to do uh jennifer love jennifer love heart right jennifer love you yes yeah, yeah. In, the love was there. As long as the love is there, we know what we're talking about, right? Yes. <laughs> from yeah. from when you started doing makeup to acting to producing to podcasting to singing, you know, what have you learned about yourself? I I have learned so many things. And one of the things is you really truly can do mm. what you want to do. And, and, you know, the people that make it happen, take the next step. I was just talking mm -hmm. about this on a, a podcast yesterday. It's like people get ideas and thoughts and stories or an invention, or they want to write a movie, but they're not a writer. They're actually an accountant, but you know what? It doesn't mm -hmm. matter because you can still write, right? You can do yeah. it. I encourage people to just, if you have a, a desire in your heart, just take mm -hmm. the next step. Just even if it's one thing a day to make it happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, and do, do you know that? Yeah, I believe in myself. 
my my friend is always saying that thing you were believing yourself now now i understand because you said it i get it but because he had said it it, it sounded gibberish <laughs> it's funny because I, have a, i have a piece of paper at home and it's uh, um it, on it it's it's from greg luganus and it's it literally yes. says uh, he's an olympic gold medalist a diver um mm. and it says uh cory believe in yourself greg luganus Oh, wow, and that is so beautiful. It's true though. It's yeah, like yeah. Gaga said it best. She said, you know, there can be 20 people in the room, but all you need is one person to believe in yourself. And sometimes that's yourself. <laughs> mm, true, true, true. Right? True. Very, very true. So I can't be serious about anything. I I love to laugh. I've realized you have a dark sense of humor where you say something really funny and you just keep, you know, serious. That's you. Uh I laugh out loud. I'm hoping that you actually get to I actually get to hear your laugh at its you know full extreme. I <clears throat> I've had a cold. And so I I have been it, it's like have you ever had that tickle and then you yeah. start laugh and then you cough. So <laughs> I actually bruised the left side of my lung. Um I'll I'll try not to to make you laugh too much. <laughs> That's why Thank I'm like you. holding it in. <laughs> But you always hold it in. Now realize you have a, a dark sense of humor. Dark sense of humor is people who don't laugh at their jokes, right? Oh yeah, no, I'm not all the time. I don't. My I have a pretty light sense of humor. I'm a pretty. I laugh pretty. My friends and I are constantly laughing. <laughs> We are. <laughs> are laughter really is the best medicine. It is. It is. So I have a little game here for you. It's called first word, where you basically have to say the first word that comes to your mind. You're not allowed to think about it. <laughs> I realized. I saw it right when I was uh, catching myself up with your show. I was like, "Ha, ah, she's familiar." <laughs> I love it. Okay, good. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so your first sentence or word: lipstick or lip gloss. Lip gloss. instant gratification no thank you faith everything i'm somebody's daughter i am music healing marriage <laughs> um oh oh that's a good <laughs> you're not allowed to think about it Um oh there's so many things coming to my head right now the but first I will, one I will say I will say um that marriage uh uh is the most important uh mm. decision you'll make uh in your life that's beautiful if bob was a disney character <laughs> guest on <laughs> <laughs> unfiltered and uncensored always this is you are on unfiltered and uncensored by the way yes <laughs> so always always i'm always unfiltered <laughs> and uncensored <laughs> so w- what do you know about south africa you know i well i i and i don't know how controversial this is i just uh i my friend had a movie and it was called uh i think it was called mugabe and the white african have you ever heard of that okay and mm, it was, I'll, i'll definitely google it yeah it was a pretty interesting documentary a life a real life story about a family but um my friend alan is from there and i've always wanted to go there and visit uh because i just have heard mm-hmm. some wonderful things about it Um, so hopefully maybe one day I will. I I don't know. I I'm hoping that this world, you know, opens up and Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. You you actually have a new friend. Her her name is Kling Yuwabila. You know, anytime girl. I would love anytime. You. <laughs> anytime you want to come through. <laughs> so you 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 were faced with a difficult time in your life where you almost lost your bladder and you almost lost your kidney why did it take you so long to get surgery 
So I don't, it, I didn't almost lose my bladder and kidney. I had a three pound tumor that was, um, that's such a great question. I, I had a three pound tumor that was, it was pedunculated. So it was mm -hmm. on the outside of my uterus. I know this is a lot of information. Mm -hmm. So, um, mm -hmm. and it was very large and I was working a uh, full time at the time on, on the show Beverly Hills Pond. And mm -hmm. I just didn't quite notice it. I have a long waist and so it kind of grew up, you know, mm -hmm. and so long story short, I ended up going to five different doctors and I found the absolute best surgeon in, um, mm -hmm. in, uh, LA, uh, Dr. Brian, mm -hmm. Moore, I have to tell you, cause he was just an incredible doctor and mm -hmm. helped me through it. And so I'm grateful for him. And I ended up having it removed and, uh, it was benign, mm -hmm. praise God. Um, yeah. but it was, it, it took me so long cause I didn't even know it was there oddly enough. So until mm -hmm. it kind of grew really fast and I felt it and went in to the doctors, um, and I, and I had routine checkups and I, mm -hmm. I really did. I had a doctor, um, and you know, because it was on the outside of my yeah. uterus, undetectable, but I can't express enough. You know, I think often if that was wasn't benign how mm -hmm. your protection is key and so um i i was very blessed and lucky to have been able to come through it and and what, uh, what really got you through the whole process well <laughs> it, I, it sounds so cliche this whole interview but god i mean i just trust yeah, him yeah. i <laughs> I remember waking up after the surgery and, and this is again, a lot of information, but I don't, I was, I was on pain medication and mm -mm. I didn't like it. It didn't feel good at all. It felt worse to have mm. the pain medication in my body than the actual pain of being cut open, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I, I remember just getting off that immediately and I just, I, what? Yeah. Your high tolerance of pain, right? Yes, very high mm -hmm. tolerance. It's amazing, though, what you can tolerate when. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With when you, yeah, yeah, or true, true, yeah. So, so wow. it, yeah, it it got me through it, and you know, of course, my daughter. I mean, she's I mean, she's so yeah, incredible, and I, you know, just waking up every day and seeing that smile was like yeah, yeah. Uh, a whole lot of com comments coming in. Some I didn't even get to read. I know uh, Jeff was here. They did comment. I know Carrie was here, Elizabeth. Uh, someone says, God bless you, Corey. Uh, Mrs. Rose, something, something, because I can't pronounce it. Uh, yeah. Thank you. I don't yeah. see any comments. I'm, I'm terrible at this. I've got to figure this out. I, don't, I have to. You, 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 you need to come both sides. You need to, you know. Everywhere. You need to be everywhere. Can I ask you a couple questions? Yay, gal. I I have anxiety, but okay. <laughs> if I can't answer, yeah, I won't answer, but yeah. <laughs> what is uh, what is your desires of your heart? To love unconditionally. Mm. It's always mm. been that. To, to, to love, yeah. And do you, um, you have two kids? One. One. I can't, I can't, yeah, yeah. I tolerate pain to an extent. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. What is the yeah. best thing about parent for you? You what? What is the best thing, like, about being a parent for you? That I get to feel the things that I didn't feel. I, I never really wanted children, right? Um, I never really liked the children at all until I had my own. And I started feeling things. I started feeling people's emotions and her emotions. I remember one day at church, I couldn't find her. She was in the front and she was hidden. I, I, I was numb. Yeah. And I couldn't breathe. Uh, and it's, it's the one thing that I'm grateful for. It's the fact that I can wake up in the morning and say, yeah, I can do it for her. You can do it for her. It's such a great and a story because you, when you you don't know where they are, even if it's for a half a second, 
you do yeah. go, and and it's amazing how many thoughts can go through your mind in that yeah. one second that they're gone, right? Like all, yeah. these, like a whole story, a whole movie goes through your mind, right? Yeah, it, it does. Uh -huh. I, I had a I had a conversation with my partner uh, this one time. He asked me, is because he has two boys, I have a girl. He said. Uh, what is, what what's it like having a daughter? And I said, you know, I'm mostly filled with fear because she's a girl child. She's more vulnerable. And yeah, that was that. <laughs> How old is she? She's five. So you know, one of the things that I told my daughter at a very young age yeah. is listen to the check in your spirit. Listen to your gut. Go with yeah, your girl. Yeah. And she, yeah. today, she's 20, you know, three to two now. But she yeah. listens to that check in her spirit. And when something's off, she knows mm -hmm. it. And that's usually, that is God telling us, hey, yeah. danger, danger. The true, true, true. Yeah. <laughs> you always go with the first instinct, right? Right, right. It's yeah. our prime instinct. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> God, give it. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It is. Uh, okay, well, three sorry, words. Question. If it, <laughs> I, love, I love this because you're just so, you're so, <laughs> you're so, uh, um, uh, jo Jeff is going to join us in a bit. Uh, yeah. 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 What, if you could do anything, what would it be? <sighs> Skydiving. Oh. Oh, you have a, a daredevil spirit. That's great. I don't. I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> I I, I want to test my anxiety level so I can overcome it. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so fear, I want to test how, how, how afraid I can be so I cannot overcome that. That's the way to do it. There's a book called um, The Gift of Fear by Gavin DeBecker. Yeah, and yeah. Talks about fear and how to use it and how it's actually it can be a gift if you mm -hmm. at it. So that just reminded me of that because of you know you wanting to conquer your fears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely gonna look that up. Most definitely. Uh before Jeff comes, yeah, I need a song to heal myself because yeah, I need a whole lot of healing. My inner child, hey, needs healing. So heal me with your beautiful voice. <clears throat> I wish that I could. I I I have this like phlegm ball in my. Oh well, yeah, no, it's okay. You can speak like me. Speak words, nice <laughs> words to me. Um, well, there's a song and it's called Hosanna, and it's by Hillsong. And okay. in that song, you have to listen to the song. It's you probably. I'm sure you've heard it, but in that song, many times, <laughs> it says there's a sentence in it, and even speaking this makes me cry but it says mm -hmm. um break my heart for what breaks yours and that's and that's talking about god you know break my heart mm -hmm. for what breaks yeah. your mm -hmm. lord mm -hmm. and so if we can all feel that one sentence yeah yeah understand that people are going through pain they're going through hard times if we, if we can understand it from their level, their their shoes, we will have so much more grace and mercy for one another because we will understand. I love that about you, that you, you speak so profoundly about God, about the spirit, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's beautiful. You remind me of a friend I, I met in college and the only communication we had was uh, Tasha Cobb's songs. So every time we'd communicate, we'd communicate through our songs. <laughs> Don't you love that though? Isn't that so beautiful? I do, I do so much, so much. Uh, three words on your time on Unfiltered and Uncensored so I can bring Jeff in. Three words of, wait, what? I'm sorry. Your, three words on your time on Unfiltered and Uncensored. Oh, uh, beautiful, um, special, true, and, and grateful. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, Jeff is here. He he wants to go. Uh, may he please come in.
And uh, before we get here, I want to say thank you, thank you so much. Uh, Uh, I don't know what's going on, but uh, the, when I'm trying to get Jeff in, is unable to. I think I'll go live with him after after you leave. Uh, I was saying something very beautiful. Now I forgot. Uh -oh. Oh, okay. Uh, I, was, I was about to say something very beautiful. I forgot, but uh, thank you so much. <laughs> I, I know it was very good because I'm a very, very nice person when I speak, you know, things just, you know, come out right. <laughs> I can't say thank you enough. You are so wonderful and lovely, and I would love to interview you on my podcast. And, ah, and definitely, find, gal. I want to find out more about <laughs> you. You are a woman with a mission, and I, I, support, am. That. I support that, thank and you. I love that. And I stand with you and stand united with you. And you are my sister in Christ. And I, I will be yeah. there for you in the way that I can. And I will lift you and your beautiful daughter up and pray. A thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wings. As always. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Corey. Uh, thank you to each and everybody who was able to join us. Uh, the comments I saw, uh, even though I couldn't read some of them, thank you so much, Jeff, as well. Uh, if you're still here, we can go live when, when I'm done with Corey. Uh, but this is Corey, who's somebody's daughter. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> Love you too. <laughs> okay, I, I believe you don't know how to leave, so I'm gonna, you know, chase you out in a very friendly way, though. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, each and every person. Thank you so much all the way from... Uh, I saw someone saying I'm from uh, Florida. Uh, Jeff, if you're still here, you can join me. You can join me, I believe, in my connect. This is Perry Oliver, somebody's daughter. Yes, I am somebody's daughter. The minute you uh, come to me and you want to love me, remember I'm someone's daughter.